Hi guys, it's the Page Turners with Maureen here, and I'm going to do a book review on Matched by Ali Kondi. Um, I did say originally in my the next book review vlog that I was going to do was Delirium by Lauren Oliver. However, I haven't finished that yet, and um, I read and finished Matched ages ago, so I thought I might as well do this since it's under the heading um, of the of the disturbing theme that I'm going to do for this month. And I'm going to give a quick summary, and then we're going to my Matched is an it's um, published by Dante Juvenile, it's 366 pages long um, and it's another dystopian book. A place where they have this high authority called the society. The society controls and restricts everything that citizens do of what they can do or what they can't do. There's a hundred uh, books they can read, there's a hundred uh, films they can watch, there's a hundred um, list of music they can hear. Um, they tell them who's a life partner going to be, and how many children they're going to have where they work, where they stay, they even tell them when they're going to die so that the society um, monitors their dreams I mean, come on, talk about privacy, it's like an extreme version of Big Brother The main character is called Cassie It starts off with her being matched to her life partner and she attends this special ceremony as everyone does at the age of 16 along with her to this to the ceremony called the Match Banquet and it's this you know, fabulous banquet Cassie just waits for her um, life partner to be shown to her and um, the faces of their life partners are shown on the projection screen and her life partner is shown to be her best friend Xander. So the review, I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. The reason why I gave it 3 out of 5 stars is because unlike other books, other dystopian books that I read, this didn't really excite me or thrill me in any way. I mean I wasn't eager to read this constantly, you have the book constantly with me. I wasn't eager to read it in the toilet. I wasn't re eager to read it um, at work, it was just set in my bedside table and I read it when I remembered here and there. The only part where it did kind of excite me and I did kind of grip the book with the eek sound was the first two chapters where Cassie's at her match banquet waiting to be told who her life partner is. And that's at a crucial time and that really excited me, it's kind of the set, set the book out, uh, set the scene of the book. Um, and I, I initially wanted to know who her life partner was. The rest of the book kind of just drags, well it doesn't really drag on, it's a very slow pace, that's that's why it didn't really thrill me and um, other people have said it as well and they did say the first book is slow paced but the other books do pick up. It, this book did um, lack passion and action. The character, she's a nice character, sorry for the lack of adjectives but there's, she's nice, there's nothing there's no other adjectives you can use to describe her. She's a very dull character and she's a very robotic character. And I understand why she's like that. After reading the whole book, I understand why. Because she's obviously born into this into this world, into this society. Everyone's supposed to be this robotic character. Everyone's supposed to follow orders. It kind of, you know, annoy me at some points as well when it's like she has no brain of her own. Anything that the society shows her, she takes it to be the truth. And I understand, obviously, because you're born into this world, I think it's the benefit of the human race. Character Xander, he's really nice. He's so lovable. He brings the humour into this book. And um, I felt so sorry for him. Uh, I won't go into spoilers much, but if you do feel kind of so sorry for him. And I just wanted to go there and hug him. Especially towards the end of the book and the way he looks at Cassie, you know how much he loves her. The other character called Kai. He's a mysterious character. No one really knows much about him and he's obtained the title called Aberration. And if you obtain that title, you're, you don't have citizens' rights. You can't get married, you can't have children. The author doesn't really reveal much about him. Just like the people, just like the characters in the book don't know much about him, we're, we're not told much about him as well. The things that we do learn about him, he reveals them to Cassie. And you see throughout the whole book that they're slowly um, falling in love with each other. So sweet like how Kai, because Kai knows stuff that c citizens aren't, don't know how to do, for example, they don't know how to write. Everything they do is typed up in a computer. Um, so yeah, Kai te teaches Cassie how to write and it's so sweet how he, how he teaches her, he teaches her how to spell her name. There was a reason why I really didn't like Kai, he's like, I think he's such an idiot for taking Cassie away. But obviously that, that's not what why he's doing it. There were some positive aspects towards the book, aside from you know the beginning of the book where it was kind of fast paced, this kind of craving to know how society was, how the world was like in the past, because everyone in, in, the, in the book kind of talks about, oh we can't go back how it was in the past, it was horrible. And I wanted to know, like, author gave us vague snippets about uh, why society became 
like this became really restricted parts of the book that kind of tugged my heart was the forced death of Cass's grandfather as well the book is well written and it does kind of uh, delve into the idea of fear of, and the fear that some people have and not controlling their own life so that was matched by Ali Um given giving it three stars out of five the next book hopefully will be Delirium by Oliver by Lauren Oliver that I'm going to review um, also check out my partner's vlog Sahina um, and she, her theme for this month is contemporary fiction comment subscribe and rate and message us so yeah bye I'm only getting started. I won't back out. do the next book uh, vlog that I was gonna Doc. can you go I'm vlogging I don't know orange